Good to speak to you, Mickey. Now, you've asked to have a fight with uh, John Fury. Well, the, the obvious question is why? The reason why I want to fight John Fury is that um, he's been offering a lot of people out. The last one was uh, Dana White. And he's saying he's the strongest, uh, toughest, fittest 54-year-old in the world, on the planet. So I was throwing along with dogs one morning, and I seen it. I rang about. I'm 56, and I believe I'm fitter and stronger. So I thought, you know what, I'll challenge him. I'll challenge him for a good cause as well, you know, the coronavirus. NHS, let's, let's raise some money, you know, for the country, for the, for the love of people, uh, what they're doing for our society, you know, with the hospitals, the nurses, the doctors, the whole shebang, you know, we need to do something for them. When John Fury uh, replied to your challenge, were you, were you surprised that he got back so quick? And, and what did you think about him uh, saying things like he was going to knock your false teeth out? Uh, whether he cried quick or... or, or, or or slower, it didn't mean anything to me. I'm glad he came back to me. Um, appreciate him wanting to take the fight off me. I really respect that. Thank you very much, John. Um, but regarding knocking teeth out, um, my false teeth, I don't have any false teeth for your knockout, so it's a bit below the belt saying that I've got false teeth, you're going to put them in the back of my mouth. Because you know what, if you had false teeth, I'd take care of them for you. So now most of the posts on, on the internet seem to say that... Uh, John Fury's going to sort of kill you in the ring or at least beat you up really badly. There's things like, you know, RIP, Mickey, Theo. Um, what, what do you feel about all of that? Okay, there's a lot of people out there that don't know me. They're looking at me as just a bodybuilder. I've been training for the last oh, 25 years as boxing, you know. I competed, I was an ex-bodybuilder 25 years ago. I still train, keep fit. I love doing a bit of weights, it's in my blood. On top of that, more, more so, I enjoy the boxing side of things. So I do a bit of boxing, and um, yeah, that's what I do. So that's why I put the challenge on. You've been in the ring with uh, Lenny McLean. You sparred with uh, Lenny McLean, and he was a great friend of yours. So I'm presuming John Fury doesn't frighten you in any way. Listen, Lenny McLean was the governor, and there's only one word for him. He was my mate. I loved him. God bless his soul, and you know, rest in peace, as he's not with us anymore. But I've never seen John John Fury challenge Lenny McLean, or the other fella, Roy Shaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, why did he challenge Roy Shaw if he's the toughest man on the planet then? Or the hardest man, as he puts it. I've read it on some of his articles. So, you know, if he was the hardest man, he reckons he was. Why did he come out and fight these people? Why didn't he bring himself out of the hiding where he was, you know? You work with Lenny on the door a, a lot. I mean, presumably there was a lot of uh, trouble on the door. And, and, and what, what was that like for you working with Lenny? And, and how difficult was it working on the door? I've worked on the door since I was 16 years of age. For me, it's a it's job. You know, it was a job and it was a, a, a long job for many years. And then I had my own bars and clubs. And it, 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 as well as being the boss, I still front 15 of my doormen. I'd get in front of them before they got to anyone, you know. That was me. That was my job. I took my own business seriously, you know. Regarding Lenny, um, yeah, we spent a lot of time together with me, Lenny, when I was about 28. Um, he took me under his wing. He taught me a lot about uh, the streets, about fighting, as they were trying to make a film for him, a movie. I contributed £20,000 back in the day. It was a low-budget movie called The Governor. Um, for doing that part, I said, Len, if I can get a part as a, one of the fighters. So he showed me a few moves. I said, look, I can have a tear-up, but I need to know a bit of technical. So we, 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 we took, him, took me down the gym. We started doing a bit of uh, moving around and fighting and that. I got better at it as we went along. Well, as soon as I got any better, Bosch, being bang, smashed my nose, broke it, punched me in the ribs, cracked my ribs. I went to the floor, winded me as well. He actually dragged me up off the floor and lifted me up and goes, come on, son, 30 more seconds. And I'm just going to say, ah, my ribs are gone, my ribs are gone. And I was still trying to go at him. And he said, like, that's it, that's enough. You know, I was fucked, basically. So I've been in with Lenny McLean, you know, he's the governor. He's the number one, yeah. I've been in with the best, yeah. Uh, John Fury, I don't know, I respect you, John. I've seen you as 13 fights and seven losses, but I don't care what you've had and what you ha if you've had or you haven't had. You know what? I respect you as a man, and I just want to challenge you. I think I'm fit, so I'm 56, I'm two years older than you, with my teeth, with my hair, and let's go for it, mate. This is, we're, we're doing it for a good cause. People, I think, on the, the internet, because maybe they don't know too much about you, uh, do you think they underestimate you? Because, I mean, you did have uh, quite a reputation back in the day. Listen, I, 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 my phone is cooking the last two. I've got two phones, yeah? They 
they're just cooking all day long. People are sending messages out. People I've done spoke to for years are sending me messages, you know. People's friends are ringing certain people that know me. My phones were mad, you know. They all want to see me and challenge and, and, and be up there with me, behind me, you know. It, it's just gone astronomical, crazy. And I, I'm, I, I, I send my love out to everyone that's behind me on this, you know. And uh, I just did never imagine that it'd ever go as big as it's gone. It's only a day and a half. So, obviously, the people that don't know me, love you all anyway, whatever comments you want to make, I love you all, yeah? And John, I love you too, mate. But listen, it's a match between two men, two grown men, but I'm two years older than you. I'm an older man than you are, yeah? So it's all about me and you, John, in the ring. Let's put it on for the NHS and for the whole world who want to see it, yeah? Most people seem to think that, that being a bodybuilder that you wouldn't have any stamina in a in a fight and may blow out after a couple of rounds. What do you say to that? Keep your, your, your eyes tuned, your ears open on the night because you'll see, you'll see what you've got to see, you know? We'll see if I blow out and you see how, what stamina I've got. I'll leave it to you guys to, to, to see at the latest stage, you know? Because you are a, a keep fit fanatic. Honestly, my life is all about training, you know? It's my number one, and it's it's like heroin for me. I love it. It's, I I cannot live without it. I do it day in day out. Forget the fights coming up. Forget this this whatever's going on. Forget my past. From doing the doors to fighting to bodybuilding, look, I've combined the two together. I still do a bit of bodybuilding. I won't call it bodybuilding to grow. I keep in shape. You know, fifty six years of age. I'm not looking bad, and you guys will see me on the night. You know, um, so got me hair, got me teeth still, John. Don't forget that. So please, if you've got full Steve John, please let me know. And I honestly, from my heart, I'll stay away from your mouth if you've got him in. So I wouldn't want to knock him out like you want to knock mine out. Have you spoken to his manager? The fight seems to be going ahead, doesn't it? The fight's going ahead. We have mutual t- uh, t- t- uh, chats on the phone. He's a great guy. And uh, yeah, it's all good. We're all, John's up for it. I'm up for it big time because I've offered him out. I don't think there's many people in this world who are offered John Fury out, you know. They all do like they all want to see the big, big events, the big fights. Yeah, but there's not many people that have got the balls to fucking face John Fury. Yeah, me, John. To me, you're another man. You're another bit of flesh in front of me, and that's no respect, you mate. I, w- I was in with the best, Ed McLean, and that all that's what I can say to you, mate. You know. So you're gonna win the fight, Mick. Am I gonna win the fight? I'll keep it to everyone's imagination in the night. Thanks very much. You're welcome.